Okay, so we're going to take a look at the sheet metal improvements in 2014 now. So you may remember back in 2012, SolidWorks introduced uh, the ability to create sweat flanges. However, in certain circumstances, what we would find is that the flat pattern would flatten in a direction that we didn't want. So here, you know, you can see that that's not the sort of flat pattern we would expect for that type of component. So in 2014 that issue has been addressed, so if we take a look in the sweat flange feature we now have the ability to select an edge for cylindrical and conical bodies to unfold by. So if we select this edge here and take a look at the flat pattern you'll see a much more desirable flat pattern for the type of uh, part we're creating. So a welcome improvement there to the sweat flange tool. Another sort of new feature that we've seen for this year is a widely requested feature by SolidWorks users, which is the sheet metal gusset tool. So if we start the tool and take a look at how we can create one of those uh, in 2014, all we need to do is select two faces to place the gusset between, and you'll see it, it, it gives us a nice preview of what's going on. So we can control the offset values here in the direction of the offset, like so. We can also control it via the indent depth if we want to, or alternatively via profile dimensions as shown here. Uh, so if we just flip the dimension sides to give us what we want, like so. We can also choose to have a flat gusset, or alternatively a full round on the end. We've got full control over the indent width, the thickness, uh, any drafts that we want to apply to the side faces, and also the inner and outer fillets as well. So if we add that sheet metal gusset on, you'll see it does a really good job of applying that to our component. One of the other improvements we've seen uh, across the board in SolidWorks is the ability for the property manager to actually retain values. So historically, uh, if I'd have started another, uh, the same tool that I had up previously, all the values would have been cleared and I'd have to fill in the values again if I wanted the same type of feature. Whereas now if I pick the two faces again, you'll see that all the dimensions that I'd filled in previously are retained within the property manager. So a much better behaviour there for how we do those type of things. Okay, another improvement I want to talk about in sheet metal is uh, the corner treatments. So historically corner treatments have been applied in the flat pattern and they've only been visible in the flat pattern wasn't really ideal for uh, what we wanted to do in SOLIDWORKS, really we wanted to see those in the folded view as well. So the support for corner reliefs has now been extended to the folded view as well as the flat pattern. So if we start on this component here, we'll just collect all the corners within the corner relief tool, like so. Uh, you'll see that we've now got some additional relief options towards the bottom as well. So if we pick one of our first corners here, we can start with a rectangular relief and we've got full control over how we deal with that rectangular relief. If we select the second corner here, maybe specify a circular relief, again you'll see the level of control underneath there for how we control those types of reliefs as well. We'll just run through and do our third corner with a tear here. And if we specify our fourth corner with an ob round as well, so again full control under there. Uh, we do have an additional option, the constant width corner as well, but we haven't got a fifth corner to turn that one on. So if I just add those on, the main difference here is that we now see these reliefs within the folded view of our component. So here you'll see the rectangular one, and if we take a look over on the other side, you'll see that we've got a tear towards the bottom, and then we've got our ob round at the top. So as I said, they will show in the folded view and the flat pattern view as well. So some nice improvements to the corner relief options in 2014. One of the other areas in sheet metal that we've seen an improvement in is uh, on lofted bends. So if we create this component here, the normal option that we would have uh, to do this is to use uh, a formed process. So here if we select these two items, we get a lofted profile between those two sketches. What we've seen now in 2014 is the ability to specify the manufacturing method. So here now we can turn on the bent option and what that will do is it will give us a level of control that we haven't seen before. 
So we can now specify uh, to use the chord tolerance, the number of bends, the segment length or the segment angle for each of the individual corners. So here if we leave this set to number of bends on one corner, we can select the second corner and then choose to either use the default options or alternatively we could adjust these and specify a specific angle. So that just gives us much more control over these types of features. And then if we flatten this item out, you'll see that we still end up with our bend lines and also the faceted style of cornering there on that sheet metal part. Okay, so just in summary, we've seen the swept flange enhancements, the ability to uh, specify an edge for cylindrical and conical bodies to un unfold on. We've also seen the new sheet metal gusset feature, uh, new corner relief options, and much more control over lofted transition bends. Okay, so we'll take a look at weldments next.